Hi, welcome back to Engineering Drawing. I'm your Dr. Vasu. Here you can find other interesting subjects along with the uh, Engineering Drawing. So do subscribe the channel to get alerts. Now let's see the projections of plane surface when its surface is making angle with the, both the planes here, right? Now let's take a, a triangular lamina ABC of 50 mm edges resting on AC on one edge here. AC means one edge in HP. The surface is making angle with the 45 with the HP. AC is making under the edge. This edge which is actually in HP is making 60 degrees angle with the VP. That means the surface is making angle with both the planes. The corner B is uh, nearer to VP. The corner B is, near, that is one condition. Now let us uh, see how to solve this. So here, first of all, we have to uh, satisfy both these conditions, angles with the planes, both the planes. How? It's a surface making 45 degrees angle with HP. So take the plane either parallel to HP or in HP like this. First condition. Second, it's a surface making 45 degrees angle with HP. This is the 45 degrees. And say, let us call this AC edge. This edge is making 60 degrees angle with VP. So this edge is making 60 degrees angle with VP. In this, these are the, this is the final position of the plane surface when it's making both the angles. Now let us see one by one, step by step to get the final projections. Now let's take the plane in the horizontal plane because first one point is it's a surface making angle 45 with HP. That's why we have to take either parallel to HP or in HP. Why in HP is it is resting on one edge AC in the horizontal plane. That's why the plane is taken in the horizontal plane itself. Okay. So let's draw the triangle here, ABC. A, AC is taken here perpendicular to the reference line, Y. Here we have to consider the edge resting on HP. When you want to have an edge in the horizontal plane, one edge must be perpendicular to the VP. Then only we will get that particular edge in the horizontal plane. Otherwise, we get corner or something else. So that is one condition we have to look for in the beginning itself. Now, the triangle is constructed such that and uh, show the dimensioning. Now, Let's draw its front view, draw projectors from all the points and uh, draw the front view. It's a straight line. The plane is in the horizontal plane, okay, HP. And uh, mark these corresponding points in the front view, A dash, B dash, C dash. C is away from the observer. So C dash is in brackets. Now, let's tilt the plane surface such that it's a surface making angle 45 with HP. So how do you lift? Let's lift this B upwards because we want this AC. AC, this point is nothing but an edge. So AC edge is in the horizontal plane. We want that. So we have to lift the B point upwards such that it's uh, this line making 45 degrees angle with HP. So take the line here at 45 degrees angle and mark the same length here in the front view. Now, mark the same points as it is. Absolutely, there is no difference. Now, let's draw the top view. Okay, draw its top view. Projectors are drawn from all the points. And horizontal lines from these points here. Already, we have discussed it in the previous video. So, draw horizontal lines from all these points. Mark the corresponding intersection points here. Right? From A dash and A. This is point A here. So A, B, C are marked. And now join these points by a straight line. Up to this, this is a surface is making angle with only one plane, that is HP. Now comes the second condition. The edge AC, AC this one, is making an angle of 60 degrees with VP. It is making an angle, that means it is not perpendicular. This is at 90 now. The, it must be, uh, suppose if I take it like this, this will be 60 degrees. 
that means i have to rotate the entire plane surface like this or like this such that the a h a c either this side or this side will be making 60 degrees angle and because here we are given a one more condition the corner b is nearer to vp the corner b is nearer to vp means you have to rotate it like this then only b will come nearer to vp so we will rotate the plane like this okay we rotate the plane this way and move it to a different position like this okay when you move the plane like this the hgac will be making for 60 degrees angle with the vp and b is nearer to the observer nearer to the vp okay now so in this position you have to draw let's draw it so draw a line here at a 60 degrees angle first okay 60 degrees on this line we mark ac how you take one point here and a call it as a mark the distance between ac mark the same distance here and mark it uh, c here this ac distance and this distance both are same so mark this point c here okay now we have to mark b how from a you mark this distance ab from a a as center this distance as radius ab as radius draw an arc now with mark this length cb with the c as center with this distance as radius draw another arc intersecting here you get point b so this is the point actual point join these points by straight lines like this highlight them this is the top view whatever the top view you have here is just reproduced here in this new position that's all we are not changing its position but we are drawing it in a different position such that the ac line is at 60 degrees angle to the vp now let's draw the front view now front view is to get the front view draw projectors from all the points okay from a b c draw projectors from these points draw horizontal lines why because when you are rotating the plane here in the top view the point b is actually kept at the same height and this ac is rotated like this or bc b is rotated whatever it is when you are rotating this like this what happens the point b will be at the same height above the horizontal plane because we need a certain angle with hp if you raise the point b upwards angle increases if you decrease this point b downwards move it downwards angle decreases so you have to maintain this angle that's why the point b will be kept at the same height so draw horizontal lines from all these points here like this mark the intersection points now from a right from a dash this is a dash here like b c mark all these points and join them by straight lines okay so this is the final front view of this one now this is the final front view this is the final top view satisfying all the given conditions surface angle edge angle b nearer to vp and ac is in the horizontal plane you see ac edge is in the horizontal plane itself so satisfying all the conditions we have done this okay so this is the way of drawing the plane surfaces when it is making angle with the, both the planes next let's take another one a triangular lamina ac it's resting on hp okay surface making 45 with hp and ac is making 30 degrees angle with vp here ac is making only 30 degrees angle with vp and the corner b is nearer to the observer okay let us see how to satisfy all these conditions so the because the surface angle is uh, with the hp take the plane in hp first and uh, surface angle is shown with 45 degrees with hp and this edge is taken at 30 degrees to vp 
and this is the final these are the final positions of the uh, plane and final projections let us draw them now start with the triangle in the top view like this edge perpendicular to vp because we want to satisfy this condition this is resting on ac in hp now this is ac in hp show the dimension draw projectors from the top view right mark the front view here it's a line and mark the points here in the front view now show 45 degrees angle with the hp show 45 draw a line at 45 degrees angle and mark the same length mark the same points here now draw projectors from these points and draw horizontal lines here mark the intersection points because already we have seen oh, we have seen this so many times and earlier in the previous problem also we have seen that's why i am going a bit fast so here mark these points join them by straight lines it has come so this is the when the surface is making angle 45 with the hp these are the projections now we have to satisfy another condition this ac now is at 30 degrees angle to vp that's why either you draw a line here at a 30 degrees angle and you take this one or this side you take draw a line here at a 30 degrees angle and whether you want to rotate this plane this side or this side you have to decide how the point b suppose if you rotate this side point b goes nearer to vertical plane but we want it nearer to the observer so b should be rotated this side b should be rotated this side and like this so ac now is taken at a 30 degrees angle to the vp like this so draw a line here at a 30 degrees angle to the reference line vp now on this we mark this ac distance ac we mark first one point call it as a mark the other point c here at the same distance mark this as c now b from a and b draw arcs get b join them all by straight lines okay we got the top view the position is different the top view is same but we have drawn we have taken in a different position that's all okay now we have rotated and b is nearer to the observer ac is making 30 degrees angle that is what is required with the vp now let's draw the front view how draw projectors from all these points and they draw horizontal lines from these points here like this so get the intersection points right a here b c corresponding points c here c c so the intersection point is c dash like this we get all the points in the front view now join them by straight lines so these are the points in the front view join this gives you the final projection in the front view okay so this is the top view and this is the front final front view okay now next let's take another problem triangular lamina abc of oh, edges resting on the corner b it is resting on corner now in hp surface angle 30 with hp the surface is making 30 with the hp and ac is making an angle 45 with the hp ac edge is not in the hp but it is parallel to hp it will be parallel to hp and let us see and it is making 45 degrees angle with the vp let us see how to first of all it has to show the surface angle with the hp and this side we have the corner so when you lift it up the corner has come here in hp fine and this side we have ac the edge this is the edge and this edge is actually parallel to hp this edge is making 45 with vp that means this plane is taken such that this line is made coming here and this plane is rotated 
clockwise like this, such that this point is here, has come here. Now, in this position, the edge is making 45 degrees angle with VP, and this is the final front view, the final front view and the top view. Okay. Now, let's draw the, this is the final position of the plane, right, in the given position. Now, let's draw the projectors. Take the plane here, the triangle in the top view, such that we get one corner on side. Corner is resting on HP. That's why take the plane in HP, first point. Take the corner on one side, either left or right, doesn't matter. So, I have taken on the right side, okay? And show the dimension, draw projectors, draw the front view here, align, mark the points in the front view. And this side, now I am tilting, lifting AC upwards because I want this point, corner, be in the horizontal plane. So take the point B in the corner and lift it up. So here, mark the same points here, the length and the everything is same. Only position is changing. Now this is surface angle with HP. 30 with the HP. Draw projectors from these points here. Draw horizontal lines from these points. Mark the intersection points. A, B, C. So join them by straight lines. You get the top view. Now comes here. AC. This line. AC is uh, 45 degrees with VP. AC is 45 degrees. So, draw a line here at 45 degrees angle and take this AC here on this line. Right? Mark one point A first. Okay? Mark the same distance AC and mark the point here C. That is, this AC and this AC both are same. So, take the point AC here. Now, you know how to draw point B. Mark this uh, length. AC and BC. From A and C, draw arcs. Get the intersection point, that is B. Join all these points by straight lines. You get the top view here. That means the same top view is uh, rotated here to a new position, such that the point B is rotated clockwise and AC is now at uh, 45 degrees angle to VP. Okay, so this is the final top view. Let's get the front view. Draw projectors from all these points. Draw horizontal lines from these points here and mark the intersection points. A, A dash, B, B dash, C, C dash. So A here, C here. Okay, now after getting these intersection points, join them by straight lines. This is. So you get the final front view. So for this, the final front view is obtained here. So this is the way of getting the projections of the plane lamina when its surface is making angle with the, both the planes. We have satisfied all the given conditions. So like this, we'll be drawing the projections of plane surfaces when its surface is making angle with the, both the planes. Hope you understood this topic very well. And if you have any queries, or any doubts, please do write in the comments, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.